Hello, betweenies, and welcome to God. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to God. So they came out and they said, you can't stack a draw two on top of a draw four. And I'm like, ooh, no. Why are you telling me this? Hello, betweenies. And welcome to another unlikely season of Between Two Flames, the internet show that proves decisively that anyone can have an internet show. I'm your host, Chris Kurzman. What are betweenies? You know, betweenies. Our fans, our fandom, that's what they call themselves. They go into internet groups, huh? and they, uh, they call themselves betweenies. Like, uh, you know, uh, Beatles fans call themselves Liverpoolies, or Billie Eilish fans call themselves Billie Eilishists. There's no way those are things. Agree to disagree. At any rate, our show is brought to you today by Flint Group. Flint Group provides top shelf marketing and communication services for you and your company. They also hire charming, hardworking lads like me and my guest today, Phil Hunt. Phil, good to have you aboard. And then uh, you just look. I look forward to fulfilling my contractual and professional duties by being here. I'm excited too, Phil. I understand, says here, you're a writer here at Flint. Uh, explain what it is you do. Pretend I'm an idiot. That won't be hard. Uh, do you have a Roomba? Yeah, yes, I don't know. Okay, I, have well, a I, have a th I have something that like crawls around my house, but I can't tell if it's a raccoon or a vacuum. In idiot's terms, uh, being a writer is kind of like being, uh, being the Roomba of the marketing world. You go back and forth, trip finding different trails of information, and bump into walls and go over the same area again and again, polishing and cleaning, and at the end of the day, it looks a little bit better than it did before. And, and also typing. Lots of typing, I bet. Uh, you must have a special keyboard that contains all of the letters on it. Yes. Including the, um, so I'm missing a Q. It's not a huge deal, but I mean, is that OK? It comes in handy sometimes. It might explain why when I tried to quit the show in an email to my boss didn't work. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't try. I, I can't quit. I can't quit and leave our lovely betweenies behind. <laughs> you and I, I think we're, we're both 90s kids, right? You mm -hmm. grew up in the 90s? Yep. The fantastic 90s, uh, MTV, and um, what else did we have in the 90s? Beavis and Butthead. Oh, yeah. Nirvana. Uh, Hot Pockets? Was that a 90s thing? Pro pro maybe. Pop Tarts? Probably before the 90s. Fruit by the Foot? Am I just mixing? Sounds I think I'm just mixing and like, like the area of my brain that's devoted to nostalgia is just throwing in like things to be nostalgic about and just attributing it to the 90s, like hair scrunchies and uh, Zubas. Oh, Zubas were a real thing though in the 90s. I think Remember so. Zubas? Yeah. Did you wear a pair of Zubas? I had a pair, but I wasn't brave enough to wear them in public. Yeah, I, uh, oh, that's funny. I, uh, that's the only place I wore mine. I was too ashamed to wear them in private. It doesn't make any sense. That <laughs> doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> movies, movies from the 90s. Movies were a big thing. We went to the movies a lot. Did you go to any movies? I went to a few. Yeah, I went to two. Which ones? I don't remember. I went to Home Alone too. That was the sequel to the first Home Alone. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that one. Home Alone 2 or <laughs> Home Alone? I also, too, <laughs> did not Home Alone also see. Two. Also, too. Also, in, uh, in addition to also? That's what I said, Phil. OK, just checking. I have spoken. Not also, too. Not also, too. What's this? That's also, oh, the number two. No, uh, no, I don't, what did that have anything to do with Home Alone? So, Phil, uh, I understand that you're also uh, in a band. I am. Tell me about that. 
Um, well. Is it a polka band? Yes. No. It's a punk rock band. Um, we've been doing Punk it. rock? Yeah. Is that punk rock still around? It, it is for us, I guess. Hmm. It's, uh, it never died. Well, we've it's been doing it for 20 years, so it was maybe may, maybe a little stronger with the public at the time we started. Mm -hmm. We've just been too uh, uh, stubborn to give it up, maybe. Okay. How do you know when the stage is level? How do you? The drool comes out of both sides of the drummer's mouth. It's a good one. Tell that to your drummer. He's going to be so mad. He's heard a few of those. Yeah. The the joke is that drummers are dumb because they don't. Yeah, I, I follow you. Okay. Uh, you must know a lot about words. It's pretty much all I think about. Uh, I'm hoping you can help me. So our interns here at Between Two Flames, uh, they use a lot of words that I don't understand. And when I ask them to explain them to me, they explain those words using other words I don't understand. It's this slippery slang slope, and I won't be part of it. So will you help me figure some of these out? Okay. What does it mean when someone is basic? The opposite of acidic. And what does it mean if I got ghosted? Uh, that's something that happened in, to uh, Bill Murray in Ghostbusters. Also happens in Miss Pac-Man. Huh? Huh? If someone says the party I wasn't invited to was lit, what does that mean? You don't get invited to a lot of parties, I'm guessing. Oh, that is what it means. Don't worry about it then. If someone tells me I'm clueless AF, does the AF part mean that it makes the word opposite of that word? No. Oh. Brennan, don't even, don't you start with me, Brennan. I've got to get Brennan in line, one second. Brennan, we'll talk about this later. Uh, here, last one. If someone says to me, bye Felicia, and no one named Felicia is around, I can just ignore that, right? Are we down here? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, just uh, read that part. I am happy to have fulfilled my contractual and professional duties by being here. Great. And then just sign there. That, that'll do it, Phil. Uh, thank you so much for coming on to Between Two Flames. Yeah, I signed the paper. I don't have to say anything else. Bye, Felicia. That's going to do it for Season 2, Episode 1 of Between Two Flames. I've been your host, Chris Kersman. I'm so glad to have you guys back. We've got brand new chairs, brand new candles, brand new butts to put in the chair. It's going to be awesome. And according to the interns, I've gotten five more clouts. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs>